सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम फॉर ए लॉन्ग सिलिंडर बाय यूजिंग हेजलर एंड ग्रोबर चार्ट वी विल रीड द गिवन क्वेश्चन ए लॉन्ग सिलिंडर बार विथ कंडक्टिविटी के सेवनटीन पॉइंट फोर वैट पर मीटर डिग्री सेल्सियस अल्फा जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइनटीन मीटर स्क्वेर पर अवर ऑफ रेडियस एटी मिलीमीटर comes out of an oven at 830 degree celsius throughout and it's cooled by quenching it in a large bath of 40 degree celsius coolant the surface coefficient of heat transferred between bath and coolant is 180 watt per meter square degree celsius determine first time taken by shaft center to reach 120 degree celsius Second, the surface temperature of shaft when the center temperature is 120 degree Celsius. Third, temperature gradient at outside surface at same instant of time. Let us understand the given data with the help of diagram. It is given that the temperature at the center of cylinder 830 degree Celsius. So this is the initial temperature at time t is equal to zero. So we will consider t zero is equal to 830 degree Celsius. Surrounding temperature is also given. T f is equal to 40 degree Celsius, and the radius of cylinder is also mentioned. So we will consider here radius of cylinder that is capital R is equal to 80 millimeter. Now what is the question? Question is that we have to find out time taken by shaft to reach the temperature 120 degree Celsius. So we have to find out the temperature at the center T is equal to 120 degree Celsius. So to reach at 120 degree Celsius, what is the time? So we will understand with the help of this diagram. So initial temperature T is zero. That is equal to 830 degree Celsius, and we have to find out the T is equal to 120 degree Celsius. That what is the time during which time this temperature 830 degree Celsius will become 120 degree Celsius? So here we have to find out this time T. Find the temperature at the surrounding T F is given 40 degree Celsius. Now, if we observe this, this temperature T zero and T F will give us theta zero, and T and T F this temperature difference will give us theta. Now, we will first find out what is the Biot number. For that, we have to calculate the characteristic length. So, how to calculate this characteristic length for the cylinder? It is volume by area, pi r square l by 2 pi r l. That is, which is equal to r by 2. So, here radius is capital R. So, we have to use here capital R by 2, which is equal to 40 millimeter. So, standard unit is meter. So, while calculating the Biot number, we have to use this value in meter. So Biot number that is H L by K. H is the convective heat transfer coefficient 180. L is the characteristic length 0.04 meter. K is the thermal conductivity 17.4, which is equal to 0.413. Now this Biot number is greater than 0.1. So here internal temperature gradient is not neglected, and we have to move for the graphical method. That means we will use Hessler and Grober chart. So if we observe this Hessler and Grober chart, we have to find out this time t. So if we observe this Fourier number, that is alpha t by l square, where t is the time. So we have to find out the Fourier number. So if we observe the graph, there is graph in between one upon b i. Then this value of theta and theta o are known. That is, there is the ratio of theta and theta o. So theta is equal to 120 minus 40, and theta o 830 minus 40. So if we calculate this theta by theta o 0.1, 1 upon b i 2.42. So these two values are known, and we can find out this value of Fourier number. From this chart, we have one upon b i value is two point forty two. So if we observe here the number, here is number two, and after that 
2.5. So we have to select one inclined line before this 2.5. And now the value of theta by theta O that is equal to 0 .9, 0 0.1. So here the number 0 0.1 present. Now we will draw here one horizontal line from this 0 0.1. And we have to intersect this with the line of this 2.5 that is one point before this 2.5 because our number is 2.42. So here is the point of intersection. Now again, we will draw here the one line that is vertical line to find out the Fourier number. Here is the point of intersection and value for this Fourier number is 3.2. Now Fourier number is 3.2 where Fourier number is equal to alpha t by L square. So value of alpha is given 0 0.019 into time t divided by L that is the characteristic length 0 0.04 square which is equal to 3.2. So this unknown term t is equal to 0 0.2695 hour. Now why here you need hour is mentioned because this alpha is given in meter square per hour. 0 0.019 meter square per hour. So here you need we have to give hour. So we will convert this into second by multiplying with 60 into 60 that is 970.2 second. Now we will move to the second question. Surface temperature when surface uh, center temperature is given 120 degree Celsius. So if we observe the center temperature that is initial center temperature T0 is equal to 120 degree Celsius and with reference to the center temperature we have to find out the surface temperature. So we will understand this with the help of the diagram that is T0 is 120 degree Celsius and we have to find out the temperature at the surface that is T. We will consider temperature at the surface that is T. So we know that small r that is the distance of any point from the center line of the cylinder. Now because the cylinder is symmetric about the center line we have to take the distance of any point from the center line of the cylinder is known as small r. So we will find out what is the value of small r. Now we will consider any point on the surface of the cylinder. And for this point, what is the distance? So I will show here. So this distance that is nothing but small r. So because this point is on the surface of cylinder, this small r is equal to capital R. And that is given 80 millimeter. So what is the ratio of this small r by capital R? So ratio of small r by capital R is equal to 1. And we have to find out temperature T at this surface point. Now we will understand this with the help of the diagram. So temperature T0 is given. That is center temperature 120 degree Celsius. Then surface temperature T that we have to find out. And at the same time here the surrounding temperature Tf is 40 degree Celsius. Now, if we take the difference in between this TO and TF, then it, we will write here as a theta O. And difference between T and TF is known as theta. So, this theta is unknown. Now, if we observe the given information, then this R by capital R is known that is 1. Then, by out number that is also known. So, from that we can calculate 1 upon BI, that is 2.42. So if we observe the Hessler chart, then there is the graph in between R by capital R, 1 upon Bi and theta by theta O. So from these two known values, we can find out the ratio of theta by theta O. From this chart, we have R by R value that is 1. So here it is shown this is the line, inclined line for the 1. 
and then one upon bi value that is 2.42 so if we observe here 0.1 and after that one is there so each line indicates for the one number that is this first line is for the two and after that we have to select here one line that is 2.42 so in between these two and three we will select here and we will draw one vertical line from this point Now here is the point of intersection and for this point of intersection, we will again draw one horizontal line. So if we observe the value that is 0 0.83. So this is the value for theta by theta. Theta by theta that is equal to 0 0.83. Now we will put value t minus 40 divided by 120 minus 40 which is equal to 0 0.83. So surface temperature T is equal to 106.4 degree Celsius. Now at this surface temperature we have third question. What is the temperature gradient at outer surface? So let us first understand what is this temperature gradient. So temperature gradient that is nothing but change in temperature with respect to radius. Now if we observe here I have mentioned the direction of heat flow. That is the heat is flowing from the center line of the cylinder towards the surrounding. Now this heat flow is in the, di is in the radial direction. That means heat is flowing radially outward direction. So here we have to take the temperature gradient. That is change in temperature with respect to radius. That is do T S by do R. Now what is this T S? So because we have to take the temperature gradient at the outer surface. That is we will take the surface temperature. That is T S is equal to 106.4 degree Celsius. And surrounding temperature that is 40 degree Celsius. And heat is flowing from the center line towards the surrounding. Now. We will observe how this heat flowing pattern is taking place. Now from center towards the surface of the cylinder, heat is flowing by the conduction process. That is we have to use here the thermal conductivity K. And then from the surface to the surrounding, heat is flowing by the convection process. That means there are two processes are taking place. So to find out the temperature gradient at this surface we have to take here rate of heat flow through conduction is equal to rate of heat flow through convection. So how to find out the rate of heat flow Q by the conduction process. So for that we have to take here the Fourier's law. What is the Fourier's law for conduction that is minus K A dot T by dou R. So we have to take this. So minus K that is here minus sign is there. K that is thermal conductivity AS that is the surface area of the cylinder. Then dou Ts by dou R that is the change in temperature with respect to radius. Because there are two variables here is change in temperature with respect to radius R. So we have to take this. Now rate of heat flow through convection. Now from this outer surface there is the convection process that is taking place for the heat transfer. So how to find out Q for the convection process. So we have to use here convective heat transfer coefficient H and that is mentioned in the question. So we have to take H AS that is the surface area of the cylinder and there is the convection process is taking place in between the surface temperature and surrounding temperature. So we have to take the difference in between these two that is Ts minus Tf. So we have to take. Now if we observe here As, As is the common on both the sides so we will get it is cancelled. So it will become minus K dot Ts by dou R is equal to H Ts minus Tf. Now I will transfer this minus k to the right hand side and I will put the value. So dot s by dou r is equal to 
minus 180 by 17.4 106 minus 40 now if we calculate this we will get the answer minus 682.75 degree celsius per meter now why here minus sign is there so this is the value of temperature gradient so if we observe during the heat transfer process from this cylinder to the surrounding temperature at the surface is getting decreased so here minus sign is for the decrease in the surface temperature 